let's talk about drones for a second. So if you're new to beekeeping or even if you're not, folks can have a lot of questions around drones. There can be this perception sometimes for some reason that if you see a lot of drone brood or if you see a lot of drones, maybe it's a bad thing. Drones within reason are a really good thing in a hive. I want to see about 10% of my brood and 10% of my bees in a hive drones. That's a sign of a good, vibrant, healthy hive. They have the resources to be rearing drones. Drones are kind of like a bonus. A really poor weak hive isn't gonna be raising drones because they don't have the resources. When you have hives that are raising drones, raising drone brood, that means that it's a vibrant hive and they've got the spare resources to do so. Now, when it's a problem is when there's more than 10% of the bees in a hive are drones and more than 10% of the brood. And I'm not talking like 12%, I'm talking when it's like all drone brood or 50% drone brood. That's often a sign of a failing queen or a, a drone layer, drone laying workers. Now, how do you tell the difference? So um, a couple things that I look for in a hive uh, when it comes to drone brood. Now I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna to try to show you something. This is always dangerous because I lose my, my spot. But one cool thing is when you look between the frames in a hive, let's see if I can get this. So when you look between the frames in a hive, you can often see drone brood because bees will typically put drone brood uh, on the edges of frames. So, sorry guys, I'm gonna give this hive a little bit of smoke. If you've watched my videos, you know I'm not a uh, professional videographer, but I sure do try. So you can kind of see right down in here, if you look down in there, you can see those big lumpy knobs sticking out. You can't see it super well, but they're there. Here, let me open up the frames a little bit. There, that's better. So you can see these lumpy knobs right there. That's drone brood. Um, and uh, you can just see it. If, if you glance down between the frames, you can often see some drone brood. Now, the other thing I wanna show you really quickly is if we take this top box off, or if we lift it up, you'll often see drone larva between the boxes. So see that white larva right there that the bees are working to remove? That's drone larva. The queen will often lay eggs uh, in between the frames. And when you break the frames apart, it exposes that drone brood, and then of course it dies, but the bees will remove that drone brood between the frames and uh, dispose of it. But that's completely normal to break your boxes apart and see that, that drone brood exposed. And it's a great time to check for proa mites. It's not a super accurate test, but if you see a bunch of proa mites inside this drone brood, that's a problem. So whenever I see this, I always kind of flip through these drone pupa to see if I see any varroa mites. They appear pretty readily because these drones are really white in the larval, uh, the pupa stage. And it's easy to see those brown varroa mites. And I don't see a single one, which is always a great sign. Varroa mites are more attractive to drone pupa. And so usually if you have much of an infestation at all, then you'll see that, uh, you'll see that drone brood uh, covered in varroa mites. So, um, again, but seeing that, uh, seeing that drone brood is a good thing. And it means, you know, this is a very vibrant, healthy hive that is able to raise, you know, excess drones and I'm all for it. It's also a great sign that spring is here. You know, when a hive starts rearing drones, it's a sign that, yeah, spring has sprung and they are starting to think about swarming. It doesn't mean that they're, you know, swarming is imminent, but it means they're thinking about it. You know, they're preparing for the possibility of swarming at some point in the future, and they're able to raise drones. Here's a better shot of, the, this is the drone brood. You can see up here around the edge and contrast that with, you know, this capped worker bee brood, much smaller, much flatter, versus this big bumpy drone brood around the edge. And they've even got some drone brood that they're rearing down here at the bottom. Uh, at the bottom of this frame. You can see there's some drone pupa in there. So this is normal. Bees kind of raising drone around, drones around the edge. They might just have a cluster, you know, in one area on the frame where they're raising drones. Here's a drone, speaking of drones, uh, right here. And uh, that, that's very normal. 
what I don't want to see is drones brood scattered all around my worker bee brood. So I don't want it to be all mixed together. Uh, that's when you have a failing queen. But when it's kind of segmented in its own area, that's very, very normal and perfectly healthy to see in your beehive.